Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure for the Common Gain, and we are in full swing of Eldrone season. It is uh, the unboxing series that I do every time a new set comes out. I generally get two booster boxes and all the peripherals, you know. Um, now the, the Brawl decks won't come out until actual set release, but thanks to Wizards we can pick these up at the pre-release now. So let's open this Joker and see what a normal booster box looks like. We haven't done that a thousand times, have we? Anyway, I think instead of going through every card, I'm just going to show you the like the, the rares and the noteworthy. How's that? So, because when I did the Planeswalker next, y'all saw that we did a, a little bit of everything. Uh, and I guess I have to quickly scan through here to see if there's any we do have Sir Allen. Uh, we have a Castle Vantress. Uh, enters the battlefield, tap unless you control an island. Tap to add a blue. Four mana, tap, scry two. I kind of like these in the fact that they are... I mean, obviously, we're probably gonna, I'm probably going to put in a mono blue deck. Uh, four mana is kind of expensive, but it's not nothing. You, you know, so... Uh, we have, wow, we're two for two on lands. Castle Lothwain. This one is, uh, I mean, there are decks where you want to spend your life, and that may be where this finds a home. Um, probably more so other formats than ours. Uh, I'm still looking through these commons and uncommons real quick just to see if there's, we have a full Wander Mayor, which is, Pretty darn sweet. And our rare is the three Billy Goats Gruff is what the fairy tale is from this one. Uh, the Clackbridge Troll. And we are really close. So let's... Uh, Clackbridge Troll, five mana, eight, eight. Uh, of course, you pass... Uh, target opponent gets three goats. Then come on your turn. Any opponent may sack a creature. So as long as somebody pays the creature tax, you... And let's look at this card. Now, I've heard two different pronunciations. Wizards, come on, help us out. Is it Dance of the Mants or Dance of the Mons? Mons. I do not know. Oh, hey, look. We have Eleonora. And it looks like there's nothing in the uh, common, uncommon slots that aren't, like there's no storybook or what have you. Um, did see a foil borderless or a borderless planeswalker, Will and Rowan, at the pre release today. So, or a couple days for y'all. Uh, What's a Vantress Gargoyle? It's two mana, five, four flying. Uh, hold on, what? Two mana, five, four flying artifact creature. Vantress can't attack unless defending player has seven or more cards in their graveyard can't block unless you have four or more cards in hand. Tap each player mills. There's something here. There's something there. That's that's too good of a rate. I don't know that the Gargoyle is for our format. It's probably not for Commander. It is probably for competitive. I see that card just getting busted wide open. Uh, it, it wouldn't surprise me. It really wouldn't. We have Faber Elder. Now, I kind of like this one. Um, of course, there it begs the comparison to the Elf from Eventide. But... It's automatically a 2-2, two -two and it's automatically going to tap for 2. So, whoa, what a... I'm going to get a, a perfect or a profit right now and put this next card in there. Uh, we got a foil um, storybook card. Fairy Godmother. Oh, my gosh. It's so close to Godmother. But uh, this one, this card did work today. I lost several games from... Fairy Guide Mother. I don't know that I'll ever be able to actually remember that it's Guide Mother and not Godmother. <laughs> Probably not. 
we have a worthy knight. Whenever you cast a knight, you get a human. So the knight brings its own squire, I guess, is the flavor there. We have Folio of Fancies. Evidently, that's going to be the rare out of the set that I don't have a problem pull pulling. And then the Foil Common of the Gingerbread Cabin. I haven't actually read the Gingerbread Cabin yet. Uh, three Forest, yeah. Uh, just the, you just create a food token that's got to be untapped. But it is a forest, so if I'm not mistaken, that does count for things like Blanchwood Armor and whatnot. We have another Foil Green card. Uh, Trail of Crumbs, and then Fires of Invention. That sounds like a card that we... Oh, it's the two-spell red thing. Here again, I may I, I may do something with this because effectively, if you play with big enough spells, it lets you kind of ish double your mana. Just tell me how many you want and get out of the way. Oh, I love that flavor text. Hey, look at here. We got Gadwick. Gadwick the Wizened. Now, he is... They had to actually do some rules changes to make this card work. Because something about... Uh, not a judge. Y'all know that. Uh, something about X... Anywhere but the stack, X is zero. And then when he enters the battlefield, X would be zero, so you draw zero cards regardless of how many you play. So they had to actually update the rules to allow Gadwick to function, and we're going to take him out and throw him over here with the Legends. Uh, we have the Royal Scions. Rowan and Will in the house. Three mana, five loyalty walker. Well, they're not shy about the loyalty, are they? Uh, plus one draw and discard. My, or plus one. Oh, two plus ones. Uh, target creatures 2 0 and first strike. Draw four when you do. Deals damage. Okay. Uh, we have. Now this one look. Whoa. The Murderous Rider in the cool frame. That's pretty neat. Uh, we have Sorcerer Spyglass. That's a thing uh, that they evidently want to try to keep in standard. We have a Midnight Clock. And this is a double rare pack. We got a foil uh, storybook. We got a Bone Crusher Giant. Now the is the extended art uh, or the the border list is that all, only the the collector packs? I, I can't remember. Check out that full ginger brute. Now ginger brute has me so upset. Would you like to hear the tale? Um, the reason why is food is an artifact type. It is not a creature type. And even though there's this one card, Ginger Brute, that exists that has Artifact Creature Dash Food Golem. Creature Dash Food! And I really wanted it to be a creature type. I even went to Gather, and you know, I typed in Creature and Food, and this popped up. And I'm like, okay, so it's a creature type. Morrow says it's not. Um, I know he's not the definitive rules manager, but... Uh, I figure he probably knows more than I do. But why is that so important to me? Because forever our changelings I have called Mutant Ninja Turtles. But now I just want the changelings to be cat food. <laughs> the red out of that pack was the goose. The goose will see play. Um, bird? I don't know. We have the Great Hinge. Now, this is a card right here now. Oh, and in the Uncommon slot, we have an actual... Uh, so, I do need to still be checking the Uncommons. The last couple packs, I haven't. But, but this was in the Uncommon slot in the place of a regular Uncommon. So, they're not just... We have Eleonora. 
again. Uh, I say it again. I, I don't think we have her, so I'm going to throw her out. And our rare is the Love Struck Beast. Now, okay, I'll admit I bought 16 of these online. They'll ship next week, whatever. But I think I bought these jokers at 18 cents a piece because I feel like this is better than an 18 cent card. Just me. It's been like three bucks on all of them or something. I don't know. But. Oh, commons and uncommons, Brian. Commons and uncommons. Because that's a real thing. Yeah. We have Castle Ardenvale, the uh, place where the king and queen live. Um, I know y'all are about tired of the comparisons to Kel Joran Outpost. I oh, mean, it was so hard for me not to call it the Dude Ranch. That's what we called it. Um, but this is really strong. Check our commons. Now, oh, I know it's an uncommon, but I really like that tournament grounds. Doom foretold. <clears throat> Not as foretold. Doom foretold. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a non-land, non-token permanent. Okay. The player can't. They discard a card. They lose two life. You draw a card. You gain two life. You create a 2 2 night token and then you sacrifice it. What? Yeah, yeah, that's Doom Foretold, all right. We got our pretty Mark Pool Island foil. And we got Fable Passage. Hey, let's talk about Fable Passage for a second. How do you feel about that? Is. Am I thinking right? Is this just a rare Evolving Wild? Because, I mean, yeah, you're getting a basic. Um, so you have six targets in the game. And then... <clears throat> it doesn't come into play tapped. But you can immediately tap sack it. Search your library for basic land. Put it on the battlefield tapped. Then if, you, if it's mid to late game, you get it untapped. So only part of the time, it's better than Evolving Wilds. See, I don't think this should have been a rare. I think this should have been uncommon. Because it's only slightly better. But that's just me. I don't make the cards, I just play them. Here's the regular Murderous Rider. And a foil Green Knight. Green Knight was actually a pretty awesome model back in the old days for Warhammer Fantasy. The Green Knight was just almost unkillable. Man, that, that, that guy was just amazing. We have another Wildborn Preserver. I'd like to go back through these and see if there's a... Uh, because I, I feel like I... May have inadvertently missed the acclaimed contender. We've already seen that guy, but I mean, it's really good. A knight, an aura, equipment, a legendary. I mean, it's, yeah, he's gonna find something. Or she, that knight, is gonna find something. Uh, we have storybook Goldilocks. Which is kind of neat. We have Oath Sworn Knight as our rare. This is the uh, this is the Black Knight from Monty Python. Just in case you didn't know, that's uh, I don't think you could have set out to make a card that was more on theme than this card. And then of course we have another copy of Sir Alan. Oh, I know it's common, but I think it's cool, the Crystal Slipper. <laughs> I see a foil on the back of this pack. I don't know what it is, but I, I see it glinting at me. Hey, look. <clears throat> now, I haven't done the work, but I know uh, our glorious Miss Christine Sprinkle had posted 
on Twitter that she's like, oh my God, I can't believe it. How many abilities does it have and how many words are on it or in the box or something? I don't know. Either way, we all know what this card is supposed to be. This is supposed to be the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, I mean, it's got Flash. It's a giant serpent. But it has three abilities and 50 words, so it's uh, tree fitty, you Loch Ness Monster. And we have a four stone coil serpent. Now, <clears throat> I do apologize. When I did the Rowan Planeswalker deck, I forgot that there was two packs in there. This card reminded me of it because one of those packs had a full one of these two. So it's my second full one. And we have the Harmonious Archon. Six mana, four, five non Archon creatures have base power and toughness three, three. That seems good. And when this enters the battlefield, you create two one ones now three three tokens. That's ten power for six mana. Spread across three dudes. Seriously. Okay, we got another giant killer and a foil red cap melee. Trying to hurry this up because I know it's. I know I have a bad tendency to fall asleep watching box bus. I really do, so that's why I try to keep you know talking and trying to keep you at least interested. Hey, look at this! We got Emery. That's our first Emery that which we've seen. And are they just so running scared of the word affinity? I mean, they spelled it out. It's the same thing, but I feel like somebody up at the office was like, "You cannot use the word affinity anymore." So we're going to take that legend out and put it with the rest of the legends. We got Witch's Vengeance, which is, uh, wow. Tribal Hate. Okay. And, oh, we have a storybook giant killer. I, I guess that's what we're calling those, the storybook ones, when they're all the fancy art like that, or the fancy frame. Uh, we have another Linden. Now, I opened a, a Troll as my uh, pre-release card, and I was able to trade the Troll for a pre-release Linden, because, you know, I'm more worried about the shiny commanders than I am anything else. Or just the commander, I was like, well, what if I don't get a Linden? But I like Linden. Yeah, it does very light things. We have the feet. Add seven red. Oh, 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 what? Now we get it? Now we get that? What happened to all, all of those energy pips? It was like eight energy pips. Energy, energy, energy. Oh, my God. Now if we get add seven red. You can only cast one more spell this turn. So we're doing... Four into seven, but you're gonna cast your storm spell after that, so or your you know your seven mana dragon on turn four. You know, you know, using it honestly. We got a foil knight and the pyromancer. Um, three mana zero four. Maybe you draw your second card. It deals. Three damage to any target. That seems decent. And then we have a uh, Grub Gully. Non human creatures you control into the battlefield with an additional 1 1 on it. I wonder if this guy is enough to move the needle on Cauldron Souls. But I don't have him yet, so we're going to take him out, throw him with a legend. Once we get done with the second box, I'll, I'll show you all the legends that I pulled. Because I know that's why we're here. That's why I'm here. We've got Mirror Maid. This excites me to no end. Oh my gosh. Um, copy Enchantment's three mana. Now granted it's two colorless and a blue. Uh, copy Artifact's a colorless and a blue. But you know, we're not going to get that rate anymore. That's on the list. This being either is outstanding. Now... I see you can use this as another copy of 
all your copy artifacts or another copy of all your copy enchantment stuff. I mean, it, it's... Mm. And then our, we got a foil barrel witches out of that pack. Two packs left here. Let's see. This is a wicked wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Four mana, three, three. Enters the battlefield. It fights up to one target creature you don't control. Uh, sack of food. Put a counter on it. It's indestructible. I am afraid of the big bad wolf. What are you talking about? That's pretty good, yo. I kind of want to build not werewolf tribal. You know, just wolves. It seems like a very me thing to do, doesn't it? Oh, we got our other our black uh, cauldron there, which I have I have super have plans for this Joker. It's the red, the white, and the black one. All three I have plans for. I bet you can't know. Don't know what that is. <laughs> but anyway, cauldron of eternity, uh, twelve mana. Spell cost two less. You know, oh yeah, yeah, it's that one. Well, that is the first box. Uh, I do appreciate y'all watching. And uh, I'm going to sort these, do a little bit of magic, and we will see y'all tomorrow. I appreciate it.